Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your weekly reading for August 28th through September 3rd. Generally I do love readings, but we're going to see what comes up this time. This is for the sign of Scorpio. I've already pre-shuffled these a couple times for you as well. Alright, so the first card, we have you hanging around just waiting for something. You know, feeling like you're stuck in a situation or not making a decision, feeling like you're not, you haven't quite um, opened up to something. Um, this one right here is maybe feeling deceived. Now that could be you deceiving yourself or somebody you might be feeling deceived from somebody. Um, we're going to get more cards to find out. Here we have the Eight of Cups. This is about leaving something behind, okay? Just walking away from it, being done. I'm out of here. You can keep it. Okay, this is a partner. This is a partnership. Okay, and this is happiness. Maybe you have to leave something behind for your current partnership to bring happiness. That could be it. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's some sneakiness that is holding you back. You know, maybe there's some kind of previous deceit that, you know, you haven't let go of yet. But anyway, there's something that is keeping you, you know, stuck. Alright, so here we have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Okay, so... This is a fast-moving energy, kind of impulsive. Maybe somebody has acted impulsively, you know, which was maybe something happened and it caused some lies. You know, it just spiraled out of control. Um, maybe somebody did something without thinking about the consequences. I don't know, but this hangman right here um, this is about, it's time to let go. It's time to let go of this, okay? So if somebody has deceived you and not, and not thought about how their actions, um, would affect you, then you need to just let that go. That not everybody is like that. You might have a new exciting opportunity in your lap, okay? You might have a new exciting opportunity in your lap, but you're still hanging on to a situation, could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, that perhaps was your partner and you're still moping over it. Perhaps you're still thinking about it, you're not seeing that there's other options out there, but if you were to do that, it could bring you a lot of happiness, okay? Because there's an opportunity for something new and exciting right here, a new partner, okay? So I, th I think that you're still stuck on a, a previous partner, and it's, it's impacting your future ha uh, happiness. I think that they hurt you. They probably lied to you. They probably did something impulsively, which without even thinking about the consequences, and now you have to let that go. And this is cutting through the bullshit, cutting that person out of your head. Okay, and this is a change, okay, a change. Because there's something new and exciting, like I said, right in front of you. But you keep this right here, this is a stalemate. This is a stalemate because of this other person. You know, your happiness is being delayed because you you are stuck 
somehow with this other person. And you're pretending. This is the ignoring the situation, just pretending. Pretending. That's what this is. Definitely. Look at the aces. Aces are about manifestation. Okay? Your thoughts become things. You're changing. You're walking away from this person. This is the person. Perhaps they were a partner of yours in the past, and that's who you're walking away from. And this is a change for new love. Because you're not going to be deceived anymore. That's what this is. You're not going to be deceived. You're not going to pretend. You're not going to play this game anymore. You're, you are moving forward. You're moving on. And you're feeling really, really proud about the decisions that you're making. Okay? And because the thing that... Well, you, this is a false foundation. Okay? Where you were at was the false foundation. Okay? So this, when this comes out, this is you, the universe saying that they want to help you. They want to help you. They want you to see something. That some, uh, something, it's not over yet. Something unexpected is going to happen that is going to really get you moving. All right? It's just going to accelerate the change. All right? That's from that card. That's a life experience. Now, this may be, this may have already happened. This could be what this is all about. Maybe there was a major, major change. Maybe somebody lied to you. Somebody cheated on you. Somebody deceived you. They didn't think about the consequences. And you walked away, or you are going to walk away, and you found something new and exciting. Okay? But this person, you know, it's not just, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to just be done with it. Okay? So, you know, you've, you've been working on it, and I think that it's finally going to happen. And I think that and it's been halting your future happiness. I think you're moving closer to love. You're headed right in that direction, actually. This is somebody from the past. This is starting something new. This is something you don't have expertise in. Okay, this is your hopes and wishes being fulfilled in the future. This is looking real good. Yes, it is. Ah. Still stuck. No luck. <laughs> My child used to have that book. But anyway, um, still stuck. It looks real good except for this one card. So this is minor compared to these. These are all majors. Divine guidance. This is divine. No shit. And you already know that. Okay. So I think that this was a karmic relationship that has really taken a toll on you. And it's not that easy to just cut, cut, through, cut it off. It's not. I see that no new love is here and that you have a chance for a lot of happiness. You just need to cut. A little bit more but I see that you're about to start a new journey where your hopes and wishes can be fulfilled looks like there's a lot of good luck and good fortune you are about to start a new chapter no shit probably you know this could be somebody from the past this could be somebody that you've known some somewhere along the line um, could be even somebody from a past life but I think it's somebody that you have known in this life that's how I feel right now but this is moving forward, okay? This is this is a victory. This is a victory. Finally getting through what you've been going through. Okay, finally getting on the other side. You put yourself in the driver's seat. You started to master your emotions. And, and now you're getting to the other side. Alright, so it looks like happiness is right around the corner. But this, I see you starting a new... I starting you at see you starting a new journey, but you do have to let somebody go. You could have an Aquarius, you could have a Cancer, you could have um, a 
That's an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Then we have Aries. We have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, yeah, that's who we have. So... I see you moving on. I see you moving on to a better spot where happiness is right around the corner. <laughs>